How are you doing? This is Ivan with Bite Size Wisdom for Busy People. And I'm back with another idea to help you live more consciously. Today, our topic is on energy breathing. Energy is all around us and on our self-development journey. One of the primary tools that we use to gain self-knowledge is our attention. We develop a deep and intimate relationship with attention, which is just an aspect of our true will not what most people take their will to be, which is a constantly changing little I. This is the will of our conditioned personality. When our attention is refined enough, it may be possible for us to be able to perceive and to draw in the energy in the air. This gives you a little clue into the real meaning of inspiration. The Latin word spiritus means both breath and soul. All of the other major traditions tell us that the air contains special energies. From the Taoist traditions, it is known as chi. From yoga and Hindu philosophy, it is known as prana. Ruach from Hebrew is the breath of life. And pneuma is the ancient Greek word for breath and also related to the spirit. So today, I just want to take a little time to talk about the importance of collecting the vital energy in the air for our inner work. The problem is that for most of us, our breathing is now very shallow and automatic. So we're going to learn to use our attention and intention to draw in and keep more of the energy from the air. This energy helps to feed and grow our energy body. Our energy body is our body of sensation. And this serves as the foundation and springboard into the deeper levels of consciousness. You can think of your energy body as a palpable inner force field. Once we have a fully formed and stable energy body, a coherent body of sensation, it will help to keep us in the now. As soon as your mind starts to wander, the strength of your whole body sensing of your energy body will serve as a reminding factor to gently bring us back it will serve as our anchor into the present moment. Most people have a very weak relationship and sensation of their bodies. As a result, any passing thought or emotion takes us away from being fully present. In the practice of energy breathing, as opposed to other conscious breathing exercises, we simply direct our attention to the energies in the air that we breathe. Whereas in other breathing practices, we are primarily focused on the physical sensations associated with breathing. We use our intention to draw in the energy and then we let it permeate our entire body as we inhale. We use our attention as an invisible vacuum to reach out into the outer atmosphere and then to suck in the energies as we inhale. We then allow the energies to settle within us and as we exhale, we keep our attention on our body. That way we collect the energies for our inner atmosphere. For this exercise, don't try to alter your breathing in any significant way. The difference lies not on the physical level, but on the level of our energy body. We are simply bringing our attention to the air that we breathe. So just find a nice quiet place where you can close your eyes and devote all your attention to conscious energy breathing and spend as much time as you feel that it's comfortable for you. Through our intention and attention, we are able to extract the vital energy part in the air to help make the sensation of our energy body stronger, which will serve as the vehicle for deepening our presence. If this is new for you, in the beginning, you may not be able to experience the energy flow in the air. So it can be useful to just use your imagination and imagine that you are breathing in shimmering luminous particles of energy and then coalescing with your energy body. As you practice more and your attention and perception deepen, your ability to absorb the energies will also increase and will help us with all aspects of our self-development work. So I hope you consider adding energy breathing to your daily practice and to also continue to work on developing your ability for whole body sensing. 
in your daily life moment to moment. On episode number 135, I talk about how you can become more aware of your body step by step until you can encompass your whole body and all of its physical manifestations. So if that's interesting to you, check it out. And that's basically it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's topic. If you did, hit the like button and share with anyone who might enjoy my content. And until next time, I hope you're doing well. Take care. Peace.